Welcome back to Think and Play Chess, where we help you strategize and visualize your moves. Before we dive into today's topic, remember to like this video and drop a comment. Today we're exploring another intriguing aspect of the English opening, the double fianchetto variation. Let's jump right in. The double fianchetto variation arises typically after 1, c4, knight f6, 2, g3, g6, 3, bishop g2, bishop g7, 4, knight f3, castle. White and black, both fianchetto their kingside bishop, opening up the long diagonals for these powerful pieces. In this variation, understanding the rationale behind each move is crucial. Let's delve into the first eight moves for both sides to explore this. Let's break down the first eight moves for both players. 1. c4, knight f6. White initiates the English opening. Black counters with the knight's most natural developing move. 2. g3, g6. Both sides prepare to fianchetto their kingside bishop. This move supports control of the center and facilitates a future kingside castle. 3. Bishop g2, bishop g7. Both sides fianchetto their bishops, eyeing the center from a distance and establishing control over the long diagonal. 4. Knight f3, castle. White develops the knight to a strong central square, while black prioritizes king safety with an early castle. 5. Castle d6. White completes kingside castling. Black secures the e5 square for future pawn expansion and opens up the path for the queen's bishop. 6. b3, knight d7. White prepares to fianchetto the queen's side bishop, completing the double fianchetto setup. Black develops the knight to d7, supporting the central push e5, 7, bishop b2, e5. White fianchettos the queen's side bishop. Black pushes the e5 pawn, gaining central space and preparing for further peace development. 8. d3, knight c5. White bolsters the central pawn structure and opens up lines for potential peace development. Each move plays a significant role in creating a solid yet flexible position for the middle game. The double fianchetto variation of the English opening offers a strategic, hypermodern approach to the game, prioritizing peace flexibility and control over central squares from a distance. If you found this analysis useful, please hit the like button and share this video with your fellow chess enthusiasts. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe to Think and Play Chess for more chess insights. Keep thinking, keep playing, and see you in the next video.